just keep opening the eyes of as many people as you can for as long as you can so one day you too can say tag your rent to a bunch of people you've influenced. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Man. Yeah. Good. Keep growing, man. Thank you, man. You're really changed your life. You changed my life. You continue to change up people's lives, and I'm going to change lives. Bless you, man. Really nice to meet you. Really good work. Yeah, of course you can have that. This is the first fan moment I think I've ever had oh, really? in my life. Yes. Yeah, so I don't even know what's going on. Oh, very so flattering. Bless you. Thank you so much. Been an inspiration. Thank you. Really nice to meet you. I think you're amazing. You're oh, thank you. Nice to meet you. Oh, bless you. Really nice to meet you, Jess. Take care. Hello, how are you? I'm into activism. Oh, really? Yeah. I've been doing veganism until I started watching my videos. Oh, really? So you got into a vegan business after watching my videos? You are the, the reason I became vegan, honestly. I'll be here in the streets at some point. Big fella. I owe you a lot, man. Where's my wife? Hey, how are you? Thank you so much. Thank you you so look familiar much. for some reason. We familiar? We reach as well because of you. Because oh, really? of you. We've got Jim Brown, Vegan Muscle. We now have our YouTube channel. We're now on the streets two, three times a week. Video content, YouTube. That's as much where as I know you from. You know us from that. What's your name, mate? Oliver. How old are you, mate? 15. 15, really? Wow. And are you a vegan? Yeah. How, for how long for? Uh, just over a year and two months. Wow, cool. And why did you go vegan? Dominion. Dominion? Yeah. Oh my God. Rough watch. Yeah. Good on you, mate. But I was saying I started on the wrong path at 14, but it seems yeah. like you're on the right one, so good work. Oh, wait a second, which which order did it go in? Who? Oliver was vegan. Oliver was vegan. Wow, and he turned his vegan? Yeah. And, and your dad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa! Yeah. Good work, yeah. there you go. He's working on grandma. The activist, you need to do a speech. <laughs> there. How I turned my parents yeah. vegan. Yeah, on the stage. Thank you did so much. Did you do much. it, dude? Yeah. Did you do it? Do a video or something? How I turn my parents vegan? He's got his, he's got his vegan daily, did he tell you? He's, he's doing Twitter and Insta. Oh, cool. in, but anonymous, so he's got his... Good work. His, yeah. So he's Smart. Start, he's started. Fantastic. But, yeah. How are you going, mate? You've been vegan seven years? How old are you? Oh, God, you've been vegan since you're three. Yes. I'm raising both my children vegan as well. Good. My daughter's three, and she's been vegan since birth. Fantastic. So, hey, what's your name? I'm Vincent. Vincent and Victor. Victor. You've been vegan for three years? I've been vegan for two years. I've become vegan. I've become vegan. Well, so that means you're, that means you're ten. Yeah. And how old are you? Eight. Eight. Wow. Well, are you having fun? Do you like it at the camp out? What's been your favourite thing here? Joey. Oh, you're lucky. His dad saved you there. <laughs> Fantastic vegan family. Amazing. We need more vegan families. We watched your video and then within maybe two weeks we we're like, we got to be part of the solution. We can't just be vegan. Uh, so yeah, we've been activists two and a half years. And so you were vegan and then went activist. You went yeah, vegan really, and then. But, yeah, because of you. I couldn't sleep. I just was crying all night. I couldn't sleep. Yeah. I was like, I had the, that feeling you say about like, I have to do something. Yeah. I'm so scared, like, talking to people. Yeah. So my first activism, I heard this sign up just shaking with this poor chicken on. And then six months later, we're in the middle of the town on a megaphone, like. Yeah. We've just started doing the debate tables. We just leveled things up. We've got the mic. So now we're just doing gas chamber events where we have like a circle of activists uh, around like, uh, we built a stun crate and then played the screams of the pigs in the town. So it symbolizes like the activists standing between the oppressors and the victims. Wow. We just talk to people on the street. It, but it's all because of you, mate. Oh my God, I'm so nervous. My heart's going crazy. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. Are you really? I am, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm blushing now. <laughs> Oh, you got my t-shirt on? I got your t-shirt on, yeah. Uh, thank you so much. You. Really nice to meet you. How? In what way? Tell oh, me. I've just, I've never really connected with anybody. I've, ever since I was born, I've had this weird thing about not eating animals. I was brought up in a working class family. They all ate meat. I felt like the black sheep. I'm getting all emotional now. <laughs> and then when I started listening to your story, I really connected with it, the feeling of thinking about death all the time when I was younger. Nobody understood. I used to think about my parents dying, me dying, animals dying, and all that. You know. And I really connected with you. And I watched one of your videos one day, and I just felt like I didn't feel so alone. So, oh, thank you so much. I'm blessed. Oh. You make me cry, Dad. <laughs> thank you, mate. I've been close to the uh, to burnout as an activist a few times, so yeah. I, I needed to hear that. In the words of my late father. 
No matter how hard it gets, never give up. When I'm going through hard times as an activist, I just remind myself of how hard it must be to be born a pig on this earth, or to be that little piglet suffering to death on the cold floor with no one to help them. Animal Liberation Malta. So, oh, really? Yes, yeah. Animal Liberation, Animal Liberation Malta. Malta. Animal Thank you for inspiring us. Bless you. Keeping our morals. Keep going, motivation. Keep going through the motions. You have ups and downs, you just got to power yeah. through them. Thank you so Thank much. You. Bless you. Yeah. Yeah. I hear you. I hear you. I'm telling you, it's hard for me too. Like, uh, I got a lot of pressure, you know. I got to. So we got to stay strong, keep going. You go through these like, like you feel like really motivated and like yes, we could do it. And then you go down and then you just got to go through those waves and like pace yourself and go. I'm going to get back out there and switch it up, do something different too. you got to switch it up, I'll switch it up. I only did activism like two weeks ago. I was super nervous but I could never do it, but from watching your videos, it just really inspired me. So thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. You stepped outside your comfort zone. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Because I was like so convinced that I just fail when I couldn't do it. But like, after a few tries, I, I don't know. Like, you just got to do it. Yeah, that's it. And like you find a way for having the motivation and putting yourself in the position of the animal in the field of it. I still, to this day, I'm like, I don't want to do it. Yeah. Like the other day, Pierce Morgan, I was like, he's going to ambush me, he's live, I'm outnumbered, all of this shit. And I was like, you know, I've got to do it. I can't not do it. So I'm just going to do it. And I was, you know, you just got to do it and then you work it out. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, man. You started activism because yeah. of when? Uh, last year at Vegan Camp Out, I got you to sign a Fermented Book, End Animals. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I do remember that now. Yeah, yeah. And you got into activism. Yeah, I got signed to you. So, yeah. Legend. Thank you for everything that you do. Thank you. You've been a massive inspiration. I really hope you can do more activism and that than just eating the food and not yeah, we'll do any anymore. more. And that's why I didn't tell people what to do. It's like, whatever comes to your heart. Like, you know. It's just like you're really inspiring with what you say in that. It's, yeah. it's not enough. Like, we should do more. And if everyone just did a little bit more, exactly. then we could all make. Exactly, like, yeah. It's just you make. But no one yeah. person should have their whole weight on their shoulders. Um, so we can, we can all do something. Honestly, mate, we owe you so much, man. You've changed our whole lives. Like, so dramatically. Like, I can't tell you. I was a big time bodybuilder eating so much like animal products and watching your your, your video just just changed our trajectory like like instantly wow and, uh, which video was it one video yeah you would it was a video on the dairy industry and you were chatting away to some guy to be in the dairy industry and i was like this guy's making like loads of sense. This makes like I can see the ethics. Footage, Twenty seconds of the mother cow on Black her side. Black and white Dominion cow on the side. And we both just broke. Like, our mask just come off, and we were like, "Oh yeah. my gosh, we now see it for what it is." We walked straight in the kitchen, black bag, everything in the bin. Like and we went shopping the day it. before as well. So we had no money, and yeah. we looked on beans on toast for a week. Yeah. And we just like can't ever pay for that ever again. Yeah, it just changed our lives in a in a flash, and then it was like right. We've got to do something what, about you've it. got to be part of the solution. Like, can't just be not part of the problem. What do we do? So it's like, so cool. Um, yeah. Started AV. Started got into that. Started doing the Franken chicken stuff and and into that. And then it's just grown and grown and grown. Right, we need to release a gym bag. We wanted to wear. We, we wore was animal rights. Going in a gym where it's like bro science of chickens and all this you have to eat. I wanted to represent the vegan message in the gym. So it's like, okay, we wear the like the, I don't know, uh, the Viva the Vegan t-shirts, but they just weren't practical. So we're like, well, we'll make our own gym brand. Let's do that. Everyone does it in their own way and reaches people in their own way. You know what I mean? Like it's, you're just at walking activism billboards anyway, because you, <laughs> you, you know what I mean? It sounds funny, but that's well, You know what I'm saying? Like we need men actually. This is a, actually a good point. We need actual, like more men doing because people think, oh, there's all these men. No, it's not really, man. It's, it's this this women. movement is run, run by women. And the population of vegans is women. Isn't well, yeah, it's, it's mainly women. It's like 75% women, and they run the they're, they're out there on the streets. So they run the activism groups. So the organisers, they're behind organisations. So we need more men, more men, because men are, are less likely to be vegan because they don't have good influences, and they think veganism is like they think it's like the thing is they think it's this and that, but we're really masculine, proper masculine men. So. Kill the stigma, you know what I mean? Oh God, come on! Come on!
Hello. Uh, so, I, I, everyone says amazing things, but I can't say anything other than the fact you're an absolute legend. Thank you. And I appreciate everything you do. I watch everything you do. You're amazing. I love you so much. You and Earthing Ed, who have inspired me to go vegan. Wow. And yeah, back back when I was in India, and I was vegetarian, so I was vegetarian for ethical reasons, you know? I yeah. didn't know about the dairy and meat industry, and I watched your videos accidentally, and it changed my life forever. I love your activism, man. Cheers, brother. <laughs> Uh, since watching your videos, I've been so much more in tune with my ethical morals about uh, veganism. I started off being more sustainable and uh, health, but then, wow. Yeah. Honestly, absolutely incredible what you do. Cheers, brother. It really is incredible. Hey, hey brother. You What's your name, mate? My name's Rupert. Rupert, good to meet you, mate. Yeah, I should say, mate, you're one of my biggest inspirations. So, like, getting to access to like, it was the thing, Ed, that got me, like, looking into veganism. And then I connected with that, like, connected with the, um, the message and everything. And then while I started watching your content, man, it was just like, man, this is what I've got to do, like, get active and stuff. It's such a positive, such a positive impact on me. And, like, I just want you to keep up with what you're doing. Cheers, brother. Thanks, man. Thank you, mate. I like this too. Sentience equals rights. Yeah, fully. Good work, brother. Thank you so much for everything Give you us a hug. Thank you. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Everything What's your name? You've done, Janet. Janet. Janet you are my hero, brother. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, bless you. were like, oh, bless you. <laughs> oh, no, you really have been a big influence on my life. Oh, bless you. Yeah, I just get emotional. And we were doing outreach, you know, like the normal outreach you do. And then we're like, oh, we, this could be more effective. And we're like, right. Social media. Let's get a YouTube channel going. Let, let's just start filming it and putting it up. You do speak to 20 people over like a short period of time, but then videos can reach. Yeah, even if you, you know, yeah, or like a hundred. Yeah. Like a hundred. I like, try having a hundred conversations, man. Virtual exactly. like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 200 or like, and then you make a short reel, it might yeah. be 500. Yeah. yeah. And it's those numbers that yeah. add up, yeah. Just rack up and you just think this is so much more effective for the animals. Yeah, like, you're doing activism like a video drop today and you're doing activism whilst you're like here but, and when you're sleeping because I can't, I just can't get the feeling like out of me. Like, Social media is the best way. Yeah, it's yeah, so yeah. powerful. Like we I said, we slept when we went and did that, didn't we? Yeah, and we thought, well, we went vegan because we saw your stuff, so you never know who might see like what we might do. It was just so impactful. Yeah. Like, I can't describe to you what that happened at that moment. It was like, like you say, the mask coming off. Yeah. And, uh, and then, like, but having your channel for us, it was like great because. When you first go vegan, you go out and you like, and you say I'm vegan. People are like, why? You're like, well, I don't. I'm like, scared of animals. Being, I don't really know. I haven't got all the answers at this point. So we just binge watched your channel from like the beginning all the way up. And you do. It's just so helpful because you like you, you learn all the responses. You learn the information, and it's just so helpful. When I started, there was no. I was yeah. the first person to film my outreach and put it on YouTube. It's mad. Yeah, and like inspired Earthling Ed and that to do street interviews too, like through Joey vs the Public. It's mad, like, you must have... There was nothing. There was Gary Orofsky. Yeah. So Gary, I'd watch Gary's speech, then I'd watch his Q&A. Yeah. And he'd be talking to, like, students and that. Yeah, well, so... What you've done, you've just not... You've not just turned people vegan, you've created activists, you've created vegan businesses, you've created... Like, but talk about a wave. We're nothing, yeah. because we've got, like, yeah. guys who have done it for us. Another massive thank you from us as well is um, we've been building ourselves up. I had to mature myself mentally to get to vigils and become part of that safe movement um, and your light of the world tour we that like that really did you watch it you've been watching my playlist ah yeah. uh, yes yeah, i've got so much work you know i i, I edited that really? i edited all those videos it literally yeah. gave us the ability it gave us the tools to go to the start going to a vigil so we're into our first vigil um and we filmed you're it. so true it changes you like another level like another dynamics to like the way you are i'm so it. glad you've watched my uh, oh, my okay. old tours i think that you're watching your life of the world tour matured me mentally i would have been the guy like this i'm taking them i'm gonna i would have been not good for the movement but it made me harden up and mature to be get... able to go and start doing it ourselves so now we've filmed our first video yeah. that's going up now yeah yeah but yeah just yeah, just and we were like we got to step we're like we got to do more we're like we really want to be like full-time activists. Just keep opening the eyes of as many people as you can for as long as you can so one day you too can say tag your rip to a bunch of people you've influenced.